Hi, good morning. It's Jim, the RV guy with Midwest RV Center in St. Louis. Um, you'll notice that I've got a, a jacket on, obviously. It's, you know, after Thanksgiving, and I hope everybody got their fill on turkey and stuffing and everything else. Uh, my family is just uh, uh, beyond blessed in measure, and uh, we had a great one as well. So I uh, hope you did. Today I'd like to talk about the Coachman Freelander it's a 22XG. I'm getting a lot of feedback from folks that, you know, don't want something very big, but, you know, want the functionality and, and things that an RV will give them. Uh, and this does just that. So it is an all-in-one generator, the whole bit, kind of wrapped up in a little package. And uh, we'll go check it out. This is the Coachman Freelander 22XG. It's got kind of a mid door on it which is nice it allows for a really big awning if you want to sit outside what's really neat about it and unique is this back door here so it opens up if you like air and open air and that type of thing that camping brings you or easy storage so uh, speaking of storage you've also got this uh, storage compartment right here that i'm opening up allows you to bring a lot of other stuff So this will be nice. Kind of walk down the side here. This is on the Chevy chassis. So I know a lot of you are used to seeing the Ford on these Class C motorhomes. Coachman has gotten with Chevy to give customers just kind of another, another alternative. So all you Chevy people, heads up. This might be the one for you. We'll sneak up inside here. So as we step in, you're going to notice a different feel from some of the bigger RVs that I've done. It's just obvious. But again, like I said, not everybody wants huge. They want maybe a little condo instead of this mansion. If that's your, your liking and that's what you want, then this might be the perfect RV for you. So as I go in, you'll notice up here, this is right above the cab. So you've got easy access to the passenger seat easy access to the driver's seat. And did I mention this is on a Chevy? Hello. Normally you find them mostly in Ford because Ford monopolizes the market on motorhomes, but this is a Chevy product, which is, you know, comparable. Uh, a lot of folks, you know, like the Chevy or the Ford. I really don't have a preference, but that's okay. Over here, you've actually got your dinette booth. So what's neat about the dinette booth here you're going to have extra sleeping underneath. You'll have storage. Uh, it's all compact. And this is an L shape currently as it's set up now. But Coachman actually has a really neat uh, thing lined up on this to where it also goes into a U shape dinette also. So if you want to play cards, if you have a few more guests over, that type of thing, you'll be able to go ahead and take care of that as well. As I get up out of the dinette, I want to show you that you do have some kitchen space. Now, is it as big as the big fifth wheels or the big diesels? No, it's not meant to be. But you still got a three burner stove. Down below, you've got uh, the microwave, which is really nice. They opted to go with the microwave instead of the conventional oven. Truth be told, I don't know, it's a 50-50 shot on who uses the oven or who wants the storage. So Coachman opted for the storage. So you've got great storage up here above the sink you've also got great storage okay and then down below you've got some under the sink and you've also got some drawers you got two drawers it's a 22 foot motor home giving you drawers in the kitchen area not that long ago drawers in the kitchen were not even a thing as i go across from the kitchen area you've got a huge refrigerator but look at this i am not david copperfield but it opens on both sides. Man, it's about time. I know, I knew what you were thinking because it's been a long time in the making and they finally got it right. So back here, what's really nice, this is a door, so this is great for loading. Some people call this a toy hauler. It's not a toy hauler, but it is a great area to, to bring stuff with you. So let's say you've got electric bikes. Let's say you've got a stroller. People with dogs, you know, you bring your play pens, that type of thing. It's easy open. If you like 
fresh air and you want to use it, there is a screen door on the back as well. Kind of a nice feature. So when you're not using this as, uh, as a storage area, and let's say you want to get, you want to get some shut eye. This actually makes into a really nice bed. So they've done really well with this bed. In fact, it's bigger than most, I would say. So it really gives you the option of more space. Like I was saying, there's additional storage. Give you a better look at it here. So you've got hanging up top. You do have a drawer for incidentals. Um, just a nice, nice way they put this together. So with this, you also get a really decent bathroom as well. Here is a better look at the bathroom on the Coachman Freelander 22XG. You got a residential shower, plenty of floor space, got a porcelain toilet, all the, all the comforts of home kind of packed up in a, uh, a nice package for us. Okay, guys, that's it. I mean, there's not a lot, you know, um, feature-wise on these, but there's not meant to be. It's a smaller motorhome. Get you in and out of areas if you're kind of, I guess, have, have some anxiety about driving something that's 40 plus feet or more. This is definitely the uh, the right coach for you. Coachman's been around for a while since the mid 60s. They put this together. Their lamination process uses the Asdell fiberglass. Uh, it's a double side Asdell, which even some of the the bigger names are just coming out with Asdell here recently, and they're only using a single side. So. Obviously, Coachman is more concerned about your length of ownership than whether you're going to trade it in a couple of years or so. Anyway, so uh, that's all I have for now. Hope that was uh, informational. Uh, it's Jim the RV Guy, Jim McClung Midwest RV Center in St. Louis. When you get a time, like and subscribe. I really appreciate all the feedback, and I look forward to seeing you at the campground. Bye-bye now.